Yo, what's going on guys? And according to Pompey on Sixers, the Philadelphia 76ers are dating, gauging trade interest in Tobias Harris, Matisse Thibault, Shake Milton, Furkan Korkmaz, Danny Green, and the 23 pick in this year's draft. Now, I want to hear your thoughts before we continue to today's video. What do you guys think? And do you think you're going to trade everybody? If they traded all those guys, it would have to be a multi-team trade. But just for the funds... I did do a Kings trade because the only team that's besides the Atlanta Hawks, but you usually don't trade inside your conference would be the Kings that are willing to do a fire sale. So I just did this trade. It's on the screen right now. It will not happen. It's definitely going to be a multi-team trade if they're giving up that many. But I just did Harrison Barnes, Justin Holiday, Alex Lynn, Rashawn Holmes, Trey Lyles, Terrence Davian, Davis, and Davion Mitchell for this year's 23rd overall pick, Matisse Thibel, Shake Milton, Furkan Korkmaz, Tobias Harris, and Danny Green. Literally for five players and a first round pick, they get seven players back and save $7.7 .7 million in cap space. Plus basically five out of the seven players are on one year deals with two of the guys, one being Davion Mitchell still on his rookie deal and then Rayshon Holmes on a very good deal for his play style. Again, will not happen, but if there was a one-team trade, this is the only one I could see feasible for all those players being swapped for a multitude of other players. But again, this will not happen. Let's talk about actual trades that we can see. Danny Green is probably the hardest guy to move. I think Furkan Korkmaz, he's making $5 million for the next two years. He's a good moving shooter, and, and by what I mean moving shooters, an off-ball, catch-and-shoot type guy. And then there's, of course, Shake Milton, who's a good secondary ball handler. He has size to be a good defender between the one and three spots, even though sometimes he has his lapses. And then Matisse Thibault is just the quintessential definition of one through five defender. I mean, yeah, he can guard some fives, but not most fives. But he can't shoot. And then the 23 overall pick, which I don't think they're interested in drafting somebody because they drafted Jaden Springer last year and he has yet to play much. And Charles Bassey and Paul Reed and Isaiah Joe are all guys who still have barely played, even though that they've shown in the G League that they should. Paul Reed, at least. Now, Danny Green will be hard. You're trying to find a team, obviously, maybe like the Spurs, the Grizzlies, the Thunder, teams with cap space who will be interested in just the pick and be willing to take on Green and wave him. And also, it's kind of ironic that if that does happen, Danny Green has been traded so many times, and every time Danny Green is traded, it's like, oh yeah, y'all forgot about me, and then shows up and has a good season, because he was traded from San Antonio, that had a great season with Toronto, then he was part of the Lakers, he went to the Lakers, was he traded to the Lakers? No, he signed a two-year deal with the Lakers after showing up for the Raptors, had one good season with the Lakers, well, you know... Yeah, he had one good season with the Lakers, and then he was himself traded with Jaden McDaniels' draft lights to the Thunder, okay? And then he was traded again to the Sixers on December 8th, so that was, that was pretty wild. I just, just want to say, it's crazy to think about how many times Danny Green has been traded. Just wild. Also, it's crazy to think about that he started out on the Cavaliers. Danny Green will land on his feet somewhere, probably in free agency after he's bought out or just waived. Matisse Thibault, I, I think Tobias Harris is the most interesting because somebody's going to look at Tobias Harris and think about what he was on the Clippers and be like, okay, this guy is worth it. All right, he's just been like utilized incorrectly for the last several years. So hopefully a team looks at him and just going, let's get ourselves Tobias Harris. And he, it's a two-year two -year deal. If he goes good, then same thing with Matisse Thibault. You get him for technically two years because he's he has this year and then the qualifying offer. So if you can develop him, you got a guy who could be one of the premier two-way guys. Shake Milton and Furkan Korkmaz, any of those guys, they could be attached to them for salary matching deals. I just, I like Shake Milton. I don't think they should trade him, but I'm not necessarily a Sixers fan. So Sixers fan, give me your opinion on Shake Milton. Would you keep him or just nah? But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Go check out our NBA live daily show. Well, daily next week. Right now, we're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Every It's a live show. Comment. We're going to try to set up the phone, try to get it on the radio. I'm having – it looked like it was going to be easier to get on the radio. Now it's looking like it's going to be harder to get on the radio because I'm hitting a bunch of obstacles. So I might go on the internet radio. It's a whole thing. But all the episodes are put on the podcast form. Just intros usually edited out, and it just hops right into the conversations. So if you want to listen to the podcast form instead of the live show, just 
go on to your streaming, wherever you get podcasts and get that. That's it. Goodbye. Like and subscribe.